Hi, this is the monthly horoscope for Scorpio for the month of September 2022. So my fabulous Scorpios, show your love and support to your girl Marie by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And then after I get done with this video, I'm going to be posting up the daily horoscopes. So it's going to get a lot confusing with the monthly horoscopes and the daily horoscopes because I'm editing still on the monthly horoscopes. So be sure to be subscribed to the channel so you know when the videos are coming up or it allows you more access. I don't know how it works. So anyways, on the 5th at 12.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Venus entered Virgo today. This signifies making an important contact that can advance your career, a great time for networking. Um, someone influential may change your life for the better. Business show, um, increase in sales. This could be growth happening with your career. A great time for networking. There could be a lot of confusion when it comes to contracts and negotiations, so make sure to read the fine print also be careful with verbal agreements at this time or arrangements that you made with others because all is not what it seems and you know this could be a lot of confusion going on or somebody trying to fast talk you out of your money okay or scamming you so try to get a second opinion um, someone is not speaking their mind or someone is not speaking up someone else is taking the reins and assuming that the other person is good with whatever is going on and they are just going on and doing their own thing okay while this other person is in quiet mode your friendships and social romantic relationships often um, during this time period can begin in group activities so usually um, you two will share Share the same interests at this time you may have many friends with the opposite sex who is who are either artists or musicians your friendly diplomatic uh, um, nature and kindness to others gets you um, the same from them and they often and other people often help you fulfill your hopes and dreams. Your friends become romantic partners, and then when you two break up, you know, like bedfellows and stuff like that, you two will remain friends, okay. On the 9th at 11.38 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mercury is in retrograde in the 11th house of friendships, networks, and goals. You can be making friends with those in high places, or you can be more focused on your social life. Revisiting old co-workers or old co-workers can be bumping into you. Or for some of you, this could be dealing with like contract jobs or jobs that you do every year around this time period and revisiting um, the same people. Like, you know, like the Ren Fair and festivals that we're having at this time in the States. It could be like that kind of situation, okay? And then just running into the same people. Also, this is a time period where we're we're in high holidays at this time. So you could be running into people when you're celebrating your religion at this time. Um, this is a great time for coming up with money-making ideas or creative ideas. For some of you, you can be receiving flash of insight or trusting your intuition. Personal affairs, daily communications, or health matters should be attended to with care and caution. Your mind is preoccupied with minor worries and irritations, irritations which can interfere with you gaining a clear perspective on situations which can tr tr uh, transpire. Past mistakes may resurface at this time or an oversight may catch you off guard. Control any urges to be a little rebellious or mischievous now as taking unnecessary risk would be unwise or disadvantaged or at not advantageous for you at this time. You should also try to avoid forcing issues or opinions on friends, lovers, or close associates. You may experience conflicting views and clashes over um, a point of view or an opinion. On the 10th, the full moon in Pisces in your fifth house of children, entertainment. So you can be more social during this time period. You can be having an adventure. For some of you, this can be new love. For others of you, you're focusing on your love relationship with this energy, and this could be with a Pisces. So you could be enjoying your time with the Pisces at this time. You'll want to spend your free time in the company of friends doing your hobbies or having a lovely lovely time with your partner you will want, you will be out and about more having adventures at this time so it's a busy time with your social life, spending time with family. Um, you want, you will want to express not only your romantic emotions, but also your creative thoughts. But if you're crushing on somebody, that's a different story because if some of you, you have stellums in your 12th house. So you tend to shy away from that. You tend to be a little bit of a loner during this time period. And plus because of the stellum in your 12th house with this energy. So you could be having an emotional affair with someone 
and like checking them out and you two playing the staring game and nothing happening with that um with this energy as well then on the 22nd at 9 4 p.m eastern standard time the sun enters libra it takes on the overtones of pisces in the 12th house um you can be very empathetic towards others you can be volunteering your time and energy you can be more of an activist in your community or you want to help out your community at this time and more of a, of a participant in your community um, with this energy or you're more invested in other people's drama you can be going through it emotionally when it really is a time of reflection and contemplation it's not going to feel like it it's going to feel more like an anxiety attack it's going to feel more like a depression so yeah that's a time of um, meditation and contemplation by the way okay <laughs> so yeah i feel like for some of you this is um childhood conditioning that is coming up especially how you were affected by father um for better or for worse you can be lonely even in a crowd or avoid close relationships or not be um or just keeping a lot to yourself and not being very vulnerable or being um open to other people because it's just the, the way you were raised by father spending time quietly on your own refreshes your mind body and spirit this is bringing your dreams and ideas into your reality but it can be a project that you do for a time being and then you'll move on to something else when mercury goes direct or after the 6th of october this could also be work that you're doing at this time um, with your career or those of you in media or social media or the entertainment industry in general this could be a project that you're you're working on that may last till october 1st when mercury goes direct or october 6th when pluto goes direct okay on the 23rd at 804 a.m mercury moves back into the 11th house of friendships networks and goals reconnecting you with people from your past being sentimental about the past focusing on your friendships and making new friends an ex coming back into the picture or thoughts of the ex you will probably receive a lot of invitations to socialize it is a good time to get out and about and socialize contacts could be formed that will help you in your career you may have it see an increased involvement with organizations and contacts with many different kinds of people but you'll probably struggle organizing different agendas if it has the time um, this could also be a time of where you need to be careful with other people's agendas or asking for favors at this time or watch what you get for free if you see somebody being very giving to you at this time red flag red flag red flag if you see somebody going yeah i'll take your hours yeah i'll take your hours you're thinking to yourself oh they just want more hours for the sake of having more hours so they can have more money you're not thinking that the fact that they have an agenda and they're not telling you about the agenda yes the manipulation is raw okay so at this time you may want to question why and then make sure here's the trickery of it make sure that while you're asking why be like is it because you want me to pay you back a favor at a later time is that what's going on here and you're just not communicating that if they say yes say no okay because that person is just trickery around okay so be careful of the verbiage that is coming out of this person's mouth because this whatever they're doing for free for you is going to come with a lot of strings attached later on friends can be offering words of wisdom or you could be jumping onto certain opportunities being presented by friends or family in regards to career for others of you this can be going on a trip or being invited to go on a holiday with a friend on the 25th, 554 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the new moon in Libra in the 12th house of subconscious and self undoing. Um, this would be a great time for the power of prayer. This is high holidays. This is Rosh Hashanah happening. This is a period of review, letting go and recharging your spiritual self. Okay. Um, for some of you, this could be recharging your batteries. I feel like you're more of an advocate for other people's rights. This could be a great time for, again, being invested in the community at this time, being in service to others you love doing that being invested in other people's drama but it can also be a time where you're in hermit mode with this energy and staying more to yourself or you prefer to work more behind the scenes at this time this could also be soul searching going on an urge to find some level of emotional peace of mind at this time this is more sensitive energy and it's best to find some sort of peace for your soul or delve into religion during this time period as well but for a lot of you you could be just in hermit mode at this time
on the 29th, 349 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Venus enters Libra. This could be secret lovers. Yeah. All right. Or you could be having an emotional affair in your head about this person. Success, success is coming to you at this time. Um, for some of you, this could be um, recognition. This could be getting a lot of attention for your career at this time. This can be a popular energy time for some of you with this energy. I feel like this could be a mixed bag of positive and negative happenings on one hand this is a great time for financial gains on the other hand this could be loss of money okay um, this is also unnecessary expenditures at this time so watch your spending this is a period that you'll be indulging at this time as well you may lose some money because you know Venus and Libra is all about the latest and greatest in fashion so you need to watch your spending at this time for some of you you know be aware of your personal surroundings because this can be theft happening with this energy this could be somebody stealing or copying you so we can see a lot of copyright infringements coming up at this time you may if unmarried um, for those of you who are single not the best time to mingle this is a great time for hookups okay and just sex all right so if you're just looking for that great time for that if you're looking for something much more take your time and get to know the person during this time period okay or else as quickly as this person came in is as quickly as they leave at this time as well so get to know them get to know their first and last name and their middle name okay like my my son three days into school he had a girlfriend i'm like what's her last name he's like and I'm like, dude, <laughs> you know, thank God he's only nine. Oh my gosh. When he starts doing this at 16, I'm going to be like, slow down. <laughs> Romeo goes too fast for me. I'm like, damn. I feel like also you could be working hard for a better future. You can be trying to secure the bag at this time with this energy as well with this um with this energy again you could be getting a second or third job at this time there could be another source of income coming in for you this month the judgment card major decisions are coming up whatever burden that you are carrying at this time or whatever it is that is not coming to fruition in your life you may have to be patient for it and just wait a little while longer before it comes in because it's not coming in anytime soon with this energy it could be next year the beginning of next year or the end of the year okay the three of cups you can be more about your friends you can be more concerned about what other people think of you you can be more about your social life and friends can feel like family to you i feel like for some of you here you need to be careful with friendships because somebody could be very demanding on you that's a friend and they could be putting a lot of pressure on you or they could be trying to twist your hand and trying to force you into something to something that you don't want to do at this time or you're not interested in doing the queen of swords i feel you could be dealing with a dominating woman in your life with this energy for others of you this could be somebody that's in a leadership position that's taking an invested interest in you and sees potential growth in you at this time this is a mover and shaker in your life this is somebody that has influence and power but at the same time she could be push she can be a little bit pushy when it comes to getting your way or maybe she sees your potential and you don't see your potential and so she could be pushing you in a positive way at this time but you can find her to be a little bit of a nag with this energy the knight of wands i feel like this is new beginnings coming up new people coming into your life at this time um as well the this month the high priestess card trust your intuition at this time pay attention to your dreams during this time period as well which you guys will you're pretty good about doing that um the four of cups you can be sitting on your hands about something you're not so quick to jump into anything new this month as well for others of you you like to mull over things you have a if you have a stellum in the 12th house you tend to be this could be missed opportunities coming up or you can be going back and forth on certain ideas that you want to do at this time with this energy so you're not so quick to jump the eight of wands i feel like this can be a time of traveling this could be a time for some of you reinvention and reinventing the self with this energy or for some of you you can be moving into another career direction for right now and then you'll change again okay the um lover's card a great time for contracts and negotiations you can have a psychic connection with someone around you 
at this time. It could be like a like a soulmate energy as well. For some of you, you may not be intriguing it. You could be sitting on your hands about it. You could be very analytical in your way of thinking and you're not so quick to jump into that situation just yet. Or you could be very shy or you have too many damn planets with between Pisces and um, Cancer. So you want to sit on your hands about it. And then plus Pluto's in retrograde in your third house. So it doesn't help. So during this time period, you'll think of this person on and off. And, you know, I feel like eventually um, you will end up talking to this person somehow or you two will reconnect again as well. Because I feel like for some of you, this is um, a soulmate connection or this is something, this, is, this person is part of your destiny for some reason, okay? Okay. Um, I also feel with this energy here that you could be working hard and playing hard. The world card, the world works in your favor. So this could be a positive time for traveling coming up for some of you. There could be a very much soul connection where you really benefit for this person. For some of you, you could be lucky in love with this energy as well. The Knight of Cups, blessings onto the universe at this time for you. For some of you, this can be new love coming in during this time period or this could be just blessings happening for you this could be something life transforming this could be pregnancy happening as well so you know when you meet this person you know it could be starting a new chapter in your life like she that she okay she or he may bring about a lot of changes into your life for the better okay so this is a great time to intrigue the new people in your life all right the two of wands the energy begins to move. I feel like you may like the pace of the energy as well. I feel like this could be a beautiful romance coming up for you with this energy um, during this time period. I do feel like the world is in your hands and you're being offered something amazing at this time, but you may not go for it. So this could also be missed opportunity. It could be, you know, you could be more Libra at this time with this energy. So this is going to be happening after um, when the planets start moving into Libra that you kind of like put your like you're just kind of like looking at the situation and observing the situation. But also this could be missed opportunity. So some grand opportunity can come to you. But at this time, because Mercury's in retrograde, Pluto's in retrograde and your depth and it's in your third house, you're sitting on your hands about things. So you're not so quick to jump in, you know, you're just kind of like pausing and watching the situation and kind of like seeing where it goes, if it goes anywhere, you know, kind of situation and just kind of observing it. Okay. Um, like I said, if it goes anywhere, cause it may not go anywhere, you know, or it can like be, be a great thing, but at the same time, you know, it may be too much for you. For some of you, you're manifesting love, you're online dating at the this time despite the energies that be with this energy you're looking for that soulmate energy for a lot of you the three of wands recognition and success coming up for you this week um i feel like this could be signing contracts at this time with this energy the eight of swords you can be going through it emotionally you can be um festering in your thoughts your emotional tar this could be thoughts of past coming up this could be regrets happening so try to go through your emotional process at this time and process your feelings and then re release them okay it's not good to dwell on your feelings for long because then it's going to make you obsessed or you're going to be really unhappy at this time with this energy it's okay to have feelings and it's but also it's just like releasing psychic junk from your brain so just see it as that so to see it more as a releasing um during this time period the nine of swords depression so really watch your emotional self you can feel lonely at this time for some of you um, with this energy the um, seven of wands certain things can be a bit of a process a great time to be in a leadership position speaking for a group recommitting yourself to a goal I feel like you can be um, not on speaking terms with certain people in your life this could be going through a divorce or you could be going through some kind of lawsuit or court it could be a long time before you get your sorry from certain people in your life for some of you you love the latest and greatest in technology here there's a great time for musician artists with this energy as as well okay so I see a lot of creative energy happening does it again doesn't mean that you'll use it but it's there in the cards okay um, you could be you know this is a great time for artists to write their love their love songs and stuff you know because the best love songs come out of misery um, this is a creative time for you you can be more cerebral and in your head there is something that you want to do the cards are saying don't just dream it do it 
but again you could be more in your head about it with this energy you can be following your intuition at this time as well with this energy for some of you you need to create more structure in your life because you could be kind of emotionally everywhere at this time or your life could be a little bit messy at this time i feel like this could be financial plans working out exactly as planned this month for you so it's a beautiful time for creating your own reality putting your ideas into reality at this time manifesting what you want getting a job at this time with this energy for some of you i feel like this is going to be an old job you already work this you already did you do this every year so this could be money coming in from that um hmm. let me see okay um, for some of you, this could be dealing with earning money overseas, a government job with this energy. The Wheel of Fortune card, I feel like this could be a fun time dealing with festivals and um, dealing with like county fairs. So this is, or going to concerts during this time period. So this is a fun energy time for you. The Six of Swords, talks of traveling, also get the hell out of your head. It's not the place to be. The Magician card, as above, so below. So keep the energy positive. You are dealing with somebody that's very manipulative around you at this time um so be careful with this person i feel like this is a great time for learning a new business skill this is a great time for um, um sales or business picking up this month for you the tower card i feel like you may be introduced to your new normal at this time for others of you not the best time for traveling so traveling can get you know expect a lot of delays during this time period so bring a book or have a backup plan i feel for others of you this could be a move happening with this energy and you may not like where you're moving to okay and we're doing this on a mercury retrograde so know that this year or next year you'll move again okay the um two of cups i feel for some of you you could be moving closer to somebody that you have a crush on or you could be moving closer to your lover or for some of you when you do move you may meet your soulmate okay for others of you i do see a soulmate energy happening you can be more cerebral into yourself at this time. This could also be Pluto energy, getting back together with your ex, okay? If you've been temporarily separated from them, you guys can be getting back together at this time during the Mercury retrograde. That's not really great, okay? But okay. Um, for others of you, this could be dealing with an on-again, off-again relationship, and you two could be back on. This could be also starting over in certain areas of your life and rebuilding your life at this time. Um, with this energy and friends could be supportive of you at this time for others of you You may want to get a second opinion with the decisions that you're making You can be going through a depression with this energy for others of you This could be dealing with inheritance or unexpected monies coming to you at this time the five of cups I see a breakup Okay, I see a breakup happening. So for some of you with the lover's card and tower's card, this could be a breakup during the Mercury retrograde, and but you two will get back together, okay? So this is an on-again, off-again relationship. It's a toxic relationship, but you two really have like a lot of karma with each other is what it shows me, okay? And the Ten of Coins puts an emphasis on money. So I do see more money coming in for you this month as well. Love you, my Scorpions. Show your love and support to your girl Marie by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And thank you for everyone who's watching. Kisses.